Today we're going to create a sample called Turned and Stitched. To start that, you would create a plain seam. So you're going to put the right sides of your fabric together, and we're going to stitch a seam 5 eighths inch down uh, the edge of your fabric. So Turned and Stitched is the finish that's going to be on the edge, but we need to make a plain seam in order to make a Turned and Stitched sample. So I'm going to stitch a seam. I'm doing 5 eighths of an inch. Make sure at the start and the end you back stitch so that your seam is secure because this is a permanent seam. We're going to be keeping it. Clip your threads so that it's nice and tidy. And then when you go to the iron, you're going to take your sample and you're going to fold over that seam allowance a little bit of the fabric. You don't want to overlap your seam, but you want enough fabric that you can um, securely stitch this. So basically you're turning under a quarter and you're leaving yourself three eighths of an inch to stitch on. So I've folded over that quarter of an inch and I'm going to, on the sewing machine, stitch along the edge of that fold to create a nice neat edge to my fabric. So you would use this on the inside of something where the seams might show, like if you did a little jacket and um, you wanted it to look nice on the inside, um, you might do this sort of seam treatment. So I'm trying to sew, you know, pretty close to the edge. Um, the best thing to do is to be looking at your needle and where it's striking the fabric um, instead of looking at the, um, the seam mark. When you're sewing a seam, most of the time you want to be looking at that 5 eighths inch or um, whatever number you're using to create um, a seam. But here we're sewing along the edge of a piece of fabric, so it's better if you kind of sort of look at the edge of the fabric where the needle's hitting that fabric so that you can maintain a nice straight line. It's going to take some practice to get it really straight. Um, so that's why we're doing this samples is so that you can, you know, practice sewing uh, different types of seams and different edges and that before you actually start making a garment. So you flip it around and you do the same thing at the other side. So I'm back stitching and then I'm stitching along my edge. And then when I'm finished, I'm going to press my seam open and uh, that will be it, it will be done. So again, I'm stitching with black thread because I want you to be able to see the stitching more than um, if you if this was really going in a garment you would most likely use matching thread so that it would look nice let me press this for you so my seam is complete um, I'm going to hold it up here so you can see it and you can see that it's got a pretty nice even dimension and good stitching uh, and then when you turn it to the outside of course it just looks like a plain seam so use it for the inside of garments where you want um, seams to look really nice I have a friend who's a, a designer and she uses this particular seam on a lot of the clothing that she makes. She's really fond of this one. I do more French seams. So both of them are, you know, extra steps in stitching, but you really have a nice outcome when you're finished. So that's it for this sample.